Hello, welcome to the project deployment tutorial for EcoStructure Energy Hub. In this second chapter, Deployment of Energy Hub, we will see how to deploy an energy hub system from site to organization level. In this first topic, Panel Server Configuration for Energy Hub, we will learn how to configure the various types of devices at site and enable the cloud connection in Panel Server. In EcoStructure Energy Hub, commonly used gateway for cloud connection is EcoStructure Panel Server. It is an all-in-one gateway to retrieve data from Schneider wireless and Modbus devices, third-party Modbus devices and some specific models of panel server can retrieve data even from the flow meters which measures non electrical parameters like water and gas. Please note, before starting the actual deployment at site, it is strongly recommended to watch the videos in the first chapter, Plan to Deploy Energy Hub, where we discuss about the prerequisites. Let's now deep dive. In the box, you will get Panel Server, Connecting Terminals and the Installation Guide. As per the type of panel server selected, the terminals will be different. Please make sure to do the installation, wiring and termination as per the respective installation guide by a certified personnel only. We can do the configurations through embedded web pages of panel server where in most cases single gateway is used or through EcoStructure Power Commission software. Let's see how to configure the panel server through web pages with 5 simple steps. Step 1. Panel Server Discovery and Login For configuring panel server, first connect to a PC or laptop through the Ethernet ports. Make sure to disconnect the PC from other local area network and switch off Wi-Fi if any. In your PC, open Network and Internet Settings, go to Properties and check if the IP settings are set to automatic DHCP. Then go to network. Make sure to turn on the network discovery and file sharing. EcoStructure panel server is discovered automatically in the network. Double click to access the panel server login web page. If the panel server is not displayed under network due to some network restrictions, we can ping directly through a browser to get the login web page. As shown, panel server IP4 is a generic address. For getting the full IP4 address of your panel server, convert the last two digits of the MAC ID from hexadecimal to decimal. If the panel server serial number in this series, add one to the last digit after converting. Before pinging from the browser, make sure to go to the network connections, LAN properties and change your PC IP4 address in the same range of panel server. Also fill the subnet mask and default gateway. Launch one of the recommended web browsers on your PC. In the address field, type the IP4 address starting with HTTPS and press enter to access the login page. In the login screen, your panel server details can be seen including the firmware version. Firmware is the embedded operating system of panel server and it is recommended to keep it to the latest version. Here default username is security admin. Make sure to set your new password as per the mentioned password policy. Login with the new credentials. You will reach the panel server main user interface. Step 2. Basic settings. In settings, go to general. Date and time. Make sure the synchronization mode is Schneider Electric Cloud. Save if you had made the change. You can name your panel server as required for identification. 
save. When it is updated, you can see here the new name. Next, we need to do the communication settings. Set the parameters as per your site conditions so that panel server can access internet and connect to Schneider Electric Cloud. You can set the IP settings to DHCP so that your router automatically assigns the IP to the panel server. Or set static if your IT administrator had provided you with one. Set the gateway settings as per the above choice. Another important setting is the DNS mode. You can choose this to keep it in DHCP or static. Also make sure to set the proxy settings and port if this is required for your network at site. Please note, without correct DNS and proxy settings, panel server cannot connect to internet. Check with your network administrator if you don't have this. Now let's see how to discover and configure the devices in panel server. Step 3. Device Discovery To connect Schneider wireless devices, in settings go to wireless devices. Make sure the wireless activation is on. Go to the wireless discovery and start scan. Your wireless devices will start showing up here. Stop the scan if all your devices are discovered. For clear identification of the device, give the name accordingly. It is important to set the contextualization data of every device so that it is automatically updated in Energy Hub once the panel server is linked. Set the commodity and usage type. Save the changes. If you have wired devices on Modbus protocol, go to Modbus devices. Make sure the settings are correct for your devices at site. Go to Modbus Addition, depending on the device is serial or Ethernet, start the scan. Stop the scan if all your devices are discovered. Make sure to set the appropriate name and contextualization data for every device. Save the changes. If your panel server has digital inputs, you can add water or gas flow meters or energy meters with pulse digital outputs. Go to Embedded Input Management. Set the pulse counter for the respective input where the pulse output meter is connected and save. Go to the newly created pulse counter device and set the appropriate name. Also set the pulse settings and contextualization data as required. Save the changes. Step 4. Verify the device measurements. Go to Monitoring and Control and check the parameters are correct for each of the devices. It is very important to verify the measurement accuracy since if we find out the data is incorrect after integrating to Energy Hub we will need to delete all the data collected to that time. Step 5. Publication Once we configure all devices in panel server, go to Data Management in Settings.
click activate sampling as a confirmation the data sampling status in header will change to green go to data publication now let us enable the cloud publication in publication method set schneider cloud services click connect if the internet connection is okay it will show connected and device activated the cloud service status in header will change to orange now click publish topology configuration of the panel server is complete however we need to register and associate the panel server in energy hub then cloud service status in header will change to green congratulations you have finished the panel server configuration at site thanks for watching this video please watch the next video on energy hub basic setup to know how to register your panel server in ecostructure energy hub